Hello and welcome. You're probably asking yourself, what are we going to learn today? Well, to answer your question, today we're going to learn about the primate known as Slow Loris. You might be asking yourself, what is a primate? And, well, the answer is, primate is a mammal with the same anatomical and behavioral patterns. This means they have stuff like opposable thumbs, and they act the same, and they have the same reactions to certain things in the environment around them. There are two different types and subspecies of primates. There's the Halflori and the Strepharini. The Halflori talks about monkeys, apes, and even humans. As the Strepharini talks about lemurs and the slow loris, which we're going to learn about today. The cute little guy that you see here in this picture is a primate known as Slow Loris, and this is who we're going to be focusing on today during our video. The Slow Loris can be found anywhere from South to Southeast Asia, spanning from India all the way to the Philippines. The Slow Loris is often a very small animal, ranging from about 5 inches to a little over a foot, and weighing anywhere from about 5 ounces to about 2 pounds. These animals are omnivores, which mean they eat both plants and animals. Most of their diet consists of fruits and vegetables, but they also eat insects and even small birds. These animals are often found in different types of rainforest and other tropical forests. They live in trees and often hunt for their prey in the trees as well. Like the name implies, the slow loris moves slowly within the trees, um, and often hunts for his prey, which consists of insects and fruits. Along with being arboreal, uh, the slow loris is nocturnal, and it spends its time at night hunting for prey, usually in the trees. The slow loris is usually very strategic in how it hunts for its food. It never runs, jumps, or pounces. It is very slow and methodical, and often wins its food over by sneaking up on it. Don't let this cute little guy trick you, though. He is actually the only poisonous primate that we know of. The poisons of the slow loris are used to label trees for other slow loris to know where they are, and it is also used as a little bit of a stunning agent. The venom of a slow loris is comparable to that of a cat, so it is still somewhat deadly, but if you are allergic to cats, you will have a even harder time with this venom as it will act the same way. However, since humans are not in as contact with this venom as they are with cats, if you were to become in contact with it now, you would probably immediately go into anaphylactic shock and need to go to the hospital. Now, you might be saying to yourself that you think these are so adorable that you might want one of your own. And recently, that has become a possibility. They are available as pets, but I'm going to tell you why you should not consider purchasing one as a pet. Like I said before, the slow loris is poisonous, so that is one reason why you shouldn't have it as a pet. But another reason is that they are going extinct and the pet trade does not help, considering that most of them die before they are even able to be sold as a pet. The pet trade is often illegal and does not treat these animals fairly. That's why so many of them die. They're breeded exceedingly, even though that's not what they were built for, and because of this, they're in poor conditions, not fed correctly, and unable to be in wildlife where they should belong, and these all lead to them being malnourished or even dying. Thankfully, there are sanctuaries and zoos that often try to take these animals in and nurse them back to health and put them in healthy environments to promote healing and health and reprodu reproducing at a stage that is healthy for them. Overall, these are amazing creatures and how they adapted to their world is quite interesting. And even though they are very cute and adorable, we should leave them where they are and study them from a distance. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a little bit more about the Slow Loris. Have a good rest of your day and happy learning!